Okay, here's the second probability problem, the Venn diagram problem, and let's just get started. They tell us here that among 170 residents in a small town, that's the total 180. I know right now if we're doing probability, we're going to be dividing by that number. But it says um, in, it, in the survey, they wanted to establish how many people contracted tuberculosis or HIV during the last five years. And here's the information they get. We know the total is 180, but we know that X people, um, the whole circle of TB, the whole set adds up to, to um, X, whatever. We don't know what that is. But 30 people are diagnosed with both TB and an HIV. 69 were HIV positive. So the whole HIV is 69. 30 is both. And 51 people didn't have either disease. Well, let's just get started with making this Venn diagram. Well, it's always good to put the 30 people, you draw two circles, one for tuberculosis, one for HIV, and you put the 30 in the middle. Now, the easiest one to get, well, maybe it's this one, 51 didn't have either disease, so they're outside here, 51. The total's 180. They didn't put it in the memo, but I like to put the 180 there that I know that everything added up here is 180. They said 69 people make up it had HIV. Well, 30 had both, but these two numbers must add up to 69. So I go 69 minus 30. There, I get 39. Now, these two numbers that I'm going to put here have to add up to X. Well, what would I take 30 and then add it to something and get um, X? Well, 30 plus negative 30 would be 0. If I make x minus 30, that's just a little bit of a trick there to see. If that's 30, for this whole thing to add up to x, this part out here has to be x minus 30. And that's it. That's your answer. And there's the whole Venn diagram completely done. You'd get one, two, three, four marks, I think, right there. Now it says, they ask the question, what's the, um, can you um, tell me, uh, the probability that um, you'll only be diagnosed with TB. Well, that would be um, this number here, x minus 30, whatever it is, divided by 180. But we've got to figure out what x is. How do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All you do is add up all the numbers in the box and the x minus 30, make it equal 180. So x minus 30 plus 30 plus 39 plus 51 equals 180. Well, all of these numbers, 30, 39, 51, minus 30 is 90. And then take away 90 from 180. Hey, it looks like x is 90. But TB only is 90 minus 30. So it must be 60 people that have TB only, that live in this only, the part that's part of tuberculosis. So 60 over the total number of people, that's desired outcomes over the total outcomes, that's one third, and that's fine. How many people have no disease? Well, 51 have no disease. 51 out of 180, and that's your answer. Not so bad. That's the end of the probability ones we're doing.